Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Thursday, August 13th, 2020. I am Freddie Sailibird. The Bath Village Road Rehabilitation Project will resume shortly. That assurance has been given by Minister of Works, the Honorable Spencer Brand. We are winding down two of our major road projects, that is the Quarter Code Project and the Brown Hill Rehabilitation Project. And the idea is that once those two projects are completed, we will return to Bad Village and continue the road rehabilitation project here in the Bad Village area. We have had a slight delay in some of the materials arriving on island, that is some of the pipe for the water mains and water distribution, because the aim is that once we come in, we would ensure that we upgrade the main distribution line coming into Bath Village and also the property distribution line. We have had a slight delay because of COVID and we are hoping that once those materials are on the ground, we would have a clearer picture as to when we can have a start date for this project. The Works Minister also made an appeal to property owners in Bath Village. When we come on the ground that I want you to cooperate with the ministry, I believe that there would be some land acquisition and I want to say to the property owners that work with us and we will do our very best to work with you. Minister Brand was addressing the audience at the August 6th NIA Town Hall meeting in Bath Village. The next Town Hall meeting in the series Conversations with the People will take place this evening at the St. Paul's Anglican Church Hall. It will be broadcast live from 7.30 p.m. on Nevis Television, NTV Channel 99, NevisTVOnline.com, NTV Go App, Nevis Television Facebook page, and Nevis Newscast YouTube channel. Fourteen persons graduated from a six-week business boot camp hosted by the Department of Gender Affairs on Wednesday, August 12th at the Gender Affairs Conference Room in the GMBC building on Government Road. We had fun while eating sugary snacks prepared by Catherine Forbes. <laughs> but our finance, our accountant, Mrs. Alexa Pemberton, balanced it out expertly with her healthy snacks. <laughs> Mr. Noah Mills managed to win over the class with his big, big, big prizes. <laughs> it was truly memorable, a memorable experience, and we gained the knowledge that we will take with us for posterity. We would like to extend gratitude to the Nevis Island Administration Ministry of Gender Affairs for hosting this small business boot camp where we have learned a wealth of information about maintaining a successful business. During this boot camp, we were exposed to business marketing strategies, accounting, insurance, best practices of a business, and much more. We can guarantee the ministry that their monies were well spent. We will now go back to our respective businesses, eager and with a wealth of information to ensure we begin successful businesses. Two of the participants, Latoya Jeffers and Chrislyn Jeffers, given an overview of the six-week training camp. The other participants were Aldrith Clark, Alicia Clark, Michelle Freeman, Fabiola Grant, Michelle McGrath, Tasha Parry, Gregory Quayley, Shanice Richards, Kenyatta Warner, Alicia Williams, Tricia Williams, and Vesaya Dawn Williams. They were presented with certificates of completion by Junior Minister of Health and Gender Affairs, the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams, her Permanent Secretary, Shalissa Martin Clark, and the Research and Data Analyst in the Department, Catherine Fobbs. The facilitators of the workshop were Alexa Pemberton and Noah Mills. And it started out as being focused on females and then soon thereafter they realized that by extending it, you, us men still exist in society. Mm -hmm. So there were three who came on board. As you look at the kaleidoscopic spectrum of companies as well, it's very heartening to know that the ideas were very creative, not merely extensions of what existed before in St. Kitts and Nevis, but it shows creativity, innovation, 
And if all of this can be packaged as you open your doors, once the loans have been finalized, and I do advise you to aggressively pursue the procurement of same by October, November. Do not let Corona dissuade you. Plan outside of that. Minister Brandy Williams congratulated the participants. It is obvious that you have been inspired to think bigger, to dig deeper, and to aim higher. Impactful because the efforts of your facilitators, you have been solidly equipped to engage the business world, touch the lives of others, and transform your own life. Remarks were made by Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health and Gender Affairs, Salisa Martin Clark, and the vote of thanks was done by a participant, Kenyatta Warner. Still to come, 13 farmers benefit from $15,000 donation from the Nebis Growers Association. The details right after this break. Taxes are the lifeblood of a nation. Feel good about what your tax dollars do in Nevis. As a responsible citizen, your tax dollars protect our environment. Pay your taxes on time. This message was brought to you by the Inland Revenue Department, Nevis. Be a responsible citizen. Welcome back. 13 farmers have benefited from a $15,000 donation from the Nevis Growers Association. The cooperative distributed checks to its members on Thursday, August 13th at a brief handing over ceremony. So when I think of the help that they are getting from the department and what kind of help we are getting that we really need. When I look from a cooperative point of view, I say, and I myself also am a farmer. I said, these things are good, but they take time to come in. Do you agree with that? Taking three months, four months, and sometimes you have been very disappointed. Or when you have diseases to deal with, sometimes you get nothing from the crop. But you still have to maintain food on the table. You still have to pay your bill. So I said, there should be something else that come along with the seedlings and the seeds and the fertilizers and the chemical, your time and your labor. You must think something else have to be on the table. You have to have something in your pocket. The checks were presented by president of the Nevis Growers Association, Emantine Thompson. Director of the Department of Agriculture, Randy Elliott, congratulated the cooperative for the initiative. Activities like these and benefits of such are just some of the reasons why one should join, or why the department encourage persons to join the farmer, different farmers groups here on the island of Nevis. This is funding coming directly from the COP, and I do believe that the COP itself deserves a round of applause. I must commend the COP, I must commend Ms. Thompson, her executive, and all the farmers here on the island of Nevis and the members of Nevis Growers Association. The ceremony was chaired by a member of the Nevis Growers Association, Steve Reed. So I'm encouraging one and all, and those who are not here today, that when you're here a meeting is announced, come and show your support. Come and contribute. No man is an island. Everyone in here has great ideas and all together you get the best idea. So once again, I thank you. I hope that you guys would put it to the best use so that you could maximize the output. The ceremony took place at the Ministry of Agriculture's conference room at Prospect. The following is a notice from the Ministry of Tourism regarding the 2020 Taxi and Tour Guide Training Seminar. 
the Ministry of Tourism in the Nevis Island Administration is now accepting registrations for the 2020 Taxi Training Seminar for all individuals interested in becoming taxi drivers and tour guides on the island of Nevis. This course is mandatory for all new taxi operators and tour guides. This course will run from Monday 17th to Tuesday 25th August 2020 4.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. nightly at the Nevis Performing Arts Center, NEPAC. Interested persons must register in advance. Registration forms are available at the Ministry of Tourism on the first floor of the Social Security Building at Penis Estate and the Nevis Tourism Authority at the A.L. Evening Building, Main Street, Charlestown, between the hours of 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Monday to Friday. The deadline for registration is noon on Friday, August 14, 2020. For further information, contact the Ministry of Tourism at 469-5521, extension 6444, or 469-0051, or send an email to mintour at niagov.com. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredicia Liburd. Thank you for viewing.